We conducted a couple of studies at the University of Southern California relating to this pad. The first was a study in which we took college-aged males and females and had them run on a treadmill at two speeds, two and a half miles an hour and five miles an hour, and just looked at uh, the very simple measure of stride length and number of strides over that five-minute period. And we found at two and a half miles an hour that the pad uh, reduced the number of strides. There was about a two to two and a half percent reduction in in number of strides taken, and at the higher speeds, it was about double that, four to five percent reduction in the number of strides uh, at the same running speed, whether you had the pad in your shoe or uh, had a different pad, uh, there was a significant difference. In a second study, we looked at high school basketball players and had them do uh, three single jumps uh, with uh, the pad and, and a, another insole that was not the, uh, this pad and found that there, there was an average of six to eight inches increase in jumping distance. And, and uh, in single jumps, uh, that's a remarkable difference. We think that this really is going to have impact uh, uh, for athletes. A couple of years ago, we tried using these intersoles on, I guess it was seven or eight of our athletes, and every one of them commented to me that they felt better, they felt like they got a little more bounce off the track, that they, they just felt like they were running easier and it did increase their speed a little bit. I also realize that as they get in shape, they get a little faster, but I think this really helps them. Uh, you need something there to push in that shock when they're running that fast. So there's no doubt in my mind it has helped. Off of a hard surface such as concrete, a lead ball has no energy return. Put a spring back on that same concrete. Note the bounce difference, the lead ball coming off the spring back. When I drop this lead ball on the spring back from full arm extension above my head, the ball rebounds approximately 48 inches high. This freeze frame shows the high point of the lead ball bounce just above my hand. Next, I move two steps to my left and drop this same lead ball from full extension above my head off of this rubberized track. All coaches know, because of its spring effect, that a rubberized track is the fastest running surface that exists. That spring effect means longer stride lengths and thus faster times. The significance of the higher bounce or spring effect off spring backs than a rubberized track means faster running on any plane surface with spring backs in your shoes. This is a pair of spring back insoles. Spring back insoles hold a U.S. patent for the very effect that I'm about to demonstrate. Spring backs speed the electrical current in your body. In the human body, electrical current travels in two complete circuits. On the left side of the body, electrical current travels up the front of the body, goes through the left lobe of the brain, and continues down the back. On the right side of the body, a circuit is completed in the opposite direction. This knowledge is the first step in understanding how spring backs aid in improved athletic performance. Notice how the electrical current travels down the top of the left arm before it reverses direction and returns back into the body through the bottom of the arm.